White dwarfs represent the final evolutionary state of most stars in the universe. The only stars that don't end up as white dwarfs are those that are much heavier than the Sun, from which eventually form neutron stars or black holes. The Sun itself is destined to become a white dwarf. In about 5 billion years time it will swell to become a red giant, at which stage it will be fusing helium to carbon and oxygen in its core. When all the helium in the core is used up, the Sun's bloated atmosphere will be lost into space as a glowing shell of gas called a planetary nebula. The core, no longer able to support itself against gravity by radiation pressure from fusion reactions, will collapse into a hot ball of carbon and oxygen about the size of Earth. Because the core will still have much of the Sun's old mass, but now be squashed into an Earth-sized ball, it will be very dense. A teaspoonful of a white dwarf would weigh about as much as three elephants. It's made of what's called electron degenerate matter, in which the electrons have been squeezed together so hard that they exert a strong pressure that resists further gravitational collapse. Usually white dwarfs are composed of carbon and oxygen, but if a star starts out with between 8 and 10 times the mass of the Sun, it will be able to fuse carbon, in which case the final result will be an oxygen neon white dwarf. On the other hand, a star of very low mass won't even be able to fuse helium, and so will end up as a helium white dwarf. The nearest known white dwarf is Sirius B, the companion of the brightest star in the sky, Sirius, 8.6 light years away. There are thought to be eight white dwarfs among the 100 star systems nearest the Sun. A white dwarf shines only because of its stored thermal energy. Although it's very hot to start with, it can't generate any new energy, and so it will gradually cool and get dimmer and redder. Over a very long period, the material in a white dwarf will begin to crystallize, starting with the core. Eventually, the remnant star will cool so much that it will give off hardly any light at all, and will become a black dwarf. However, this process takes such an incredibly long time, much longer than the current age of the universe, that it's thought that no black dwarfs yet exist.